Exodiac 85X presents Team XC. So this is in reply to you, Avery Butterfield. You think that it would be a lot healthier if I fed my dog non-vegan food and I fed her some animals instead. So my question to you is, how healthy would it be for the other animals? So basically, she recognizes that Bella, her dog, would be healthier if it ate animal product, but she's being so selfish and worried about the other animals that she's willing to take away all the healthy essentials that Bella needs. Poor Bella. What do you want, Bella? You're all soaking wet. You already went in the lake? You already ate dinner? What do you want to do now? You want to go to sleep? Want to be all wet in my bed with me? So, let me get this straight. She's going to stand there filming her dog, making her dog sit there soaking wet, not bothering to dry her dog off with a towel or anything, and just say, you want to come to bed soaking wet? She was legit just going to bring her dog soaking wet into her bed with her. What horrible treatment. You ready to walk now? Are you on strike again? We've been sitting here for 15 minutes. I want to go. That's odd. Bella doesn't want to go with you. And you said strike again? So she's done this before. Notice how Bella just wants to sit there and chill in the grass. And she's trying to get Bella to go home. So you're going to pay me to give my dog some proper food. Look, you didn't read the comment on the video very well, and it said that she is eating this kind of dog food, okay? It is called Evolution Brand. She's fine, she's healthy, don't worry about it. I mean, what do you want me to do? Get a knife and go and find a pig, a chicken, or a cow and stab them? And okay, that person said they would pay for your dog to have healthier food, not you go out and butcher the animals yourself. You always exaggerate a bit too much there. Also, we do not pay for the death of animals. As a matter of fact, long ago, everything was based on a trade system. So if you gave me some eggs, I'd give you some milk. That's the way it worked. So if money wasn't in the equation, life would be a lot worse. We would have way more farms because everyone would have to trade, and that's the facts. Now imagine you're another spider who ends up also in a strange house, but this time, Somebody has read Charlotte's Web. Somebody who is not a speciesist comes at you with a cup and gently puts it on top of you, careful not to hurt your legs, and slides the cardboard under you and delivers you to freedom. Now you're talking about being friendly to spiders that try to invade your home? Why, just a moment ago, you were talking about if a mosquito sucked your blood, it's okay to kill it because it attacked you. But... Spiders don't necessarily peacefully live in your homes. They bite you and everything. So, yeah, you can't necessarily just kindly put it in a cup and take it out. He'll come back and they'll reinvade. They lay babies. What are you going to do about that? I'm just saying. Happy Vegan Declaration Day, especially to you, members of the LGBTQ community. Thank you. For making the connection wait didn't you just say that you were going to call out any minority group that hurts animals and you name them as one of them and now you're going to thank them is it because somebody called you out on that Bella, guess what the little baby plants have grown yeah let's go see them so we're trying something new we took some seeds out of some green peppers we put them in some toilet paper and inside this jar and waited a week with water on them to see if we would grow some little sprouts and check it out they did start to grow 
Look how cute they are, guys. Some of them started to sprout. One here, one here, one here. There's another one. What can I say, guys? Best plant ever. Eat up. Hi, everyone. The reason that I'm vegan is because I educated myself. You educated your own self. You taught your own self. You didn't learn from a professional, and yet you want everyone to follow in your footsteps. You call yourself a teacher, okay? You want to teach them what you taught yourself. That is your way of life. Don't force your opinions upon other people. Also, if you were an actual teacher, why don't I see you around the other students in any of your TikToks? You do TikToks all day. Where's your school building? Where are the students? Hmm? That's right. Keep the bacon coming. You thought you could turn off your duets like that vegan teacher. Hello. I'm going to respond to the person who said that vegans should be kinder and more polite and not force their opinions on others. Who is forcing their opinion and who is forcing themselves onto another? Stop avoiding the question by going on to a whole nother topic. You went right to the meat industry and you didn't answer their question on the opinion about forcing opinions on others. You didn't answer that yet. You went right into the meat industry. You guys kept tagging me on her video. Well, here it goes. Yeah, she's definitely nuts. She's out there. But a lot of those documentaries, guys, a lot of them are made to brainwash people. Just remember that. And also, how many different supplements are you taking to be on that plant-based diet? And if we weren't meant to eat meat, then there would be no need for winter coming around where a lot of the vegetation is dead or hibernating. Explain that one. Do I know my friends who are? Okay. So she has a classic bicycle with a beat up basket. That's what she goes grocery shopping in, guys. Not a car, but a bicycle with a basket on it. And it's got a vegan sign. And notice how nobody's coming up to the bike. And she's sitting there filming it. Like, they're going to be like, this lady's nuts. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe.